gotta wake up. Outside of the hospital right now. Hey, Natalie just passed out. I'm fucking scared. Definitely one of the most traumatic experiences I've ever had in my life. How do you not be scared when you see your girlfriend's eyes rolling to the back of her head? Pretty much what happened, uh, Natalie was just coming home from getting her wisdom teeth removed. So once we got home, Natalie has already taken her pain medicines to numb the pain or whatever. So she had been sleeping the whole entire car ride. But when it was time to get out of the car, like I grabbed everything from the car and I made my way to the house. And then I just hear Natalie like, kind of like yelling my name, like, hey. Hey. Uh. I was like, okay, here I'm coming. And I like literally set all the stuff that I had down in the house and I ran back to her to see what was going on and she just said she just wasn't feeling good. As you can see, like she's just walking, like kind of like woozy. And I'm just thinking like, okay, she's off her medicine, like not really thinking too much of it. But then that's when the first like moment happened of her passing out. But it was just like so quick, I just thought she was dizzy, you know? So I was like, okay, baby, we gotta get you to the house. We gotta get you to the bed. And as we're walking, like, her legs are dragging, like, on the ground. I'm like, come on, baby. Like, you know, I'm not thinking nothing of it. She just got her wisdom teeth removed. I had no control over my body. It wasn't scary until the second time she passed out. And at that moment, it was just like, she just dropped, fell to the ground. And when she dropped, her head hits the wall. And I'm just like, oh my God. When she gets up, I'm like, you baby just passed out. And she was like, what, really? So when I stood her up, I was like, okay, I'm about to try to carry her. But I could not carry her because her weight, she was so heavy. So I was like, okay, if I stand her up, I can carry her, like lift her up like this. Cause I couldn't get her off from the ground. So she was helping me like stand, help herself stand up. Once she got up off the ground, that's when I was like, all right, like we got to make it to the door. You know what I'm saying? And she's just like, I feel weird, I feel weird. And, and I didn't know what was happening. Like, I didn't know that, like, I didn't know, I didn't know if I was dying. Like, I didn't know what was happening to me. And I just remember thinking like, uh, it just felt like there were like weird lapses. Like, and like, I'd be looking at her and then all of a sudden, like, it would seem like there would be a lapse and I would look at her again. And then I'd be like, am I okay? Like, and she was just like, no, you just keep passing out. like. Cause after that one, uh, she, this one was like different. I thought she was okay. Cause you know, like she's talking to me or whatever. It's just hard to even just think about because that was the, the moment where it was like, I was just scared out of my life and she just drops again. And I'm just like, at this point I'm screaming for her like, Natalie, Natalie, she's not waking up. And I'm just like, oh my God, I grab her head. And I'm shaking her, I'm screaming her name, like, Natalie, wake up, please. Natalie, wake up. And then she's now waking up. So I like start hitting the back of her, like trying to get her some air. I don't know what to do, this never happened before. So I'm like hitting the back of her, um, or her back, trying to get her some air. Then I'm just like, okay, I don't know what to do. Then I'm about to call 911. But I'm like, what if in this moment, like I could do something and how waste that moment to call the police. So I pull my phone out about to call him, but I'm just like, she's still not waking up. So I dropped the phone and I'm just shaking her. And I'm like, Natalie, please wake up, wake up. I scream so loud. I know for sure the neighbors hear it. And I'm just like, bro, I can't lose my baby. It was so fucking terrifying. Um, In that moment, I'm just screaming. And then she finally wakes up and I'm just like, baby, like, I, I'm literally in that moment of just like, what the fuck? But I have to snap out of it so fucking quick because I don't want her to panic, you know? So I lift her up and then like move her to her butt because she was like laying so flat on her um her ankles. So I was just like, dang, okay, let's sit you down. And then I call 911 immediately. And they're telling me like, lay her down, get her a pillow, prop her legs up and all that. And it was raining out and stuff at the same time and like, but as soon as she laid me down, like I felt so much better. Like it was honestly, oh my God. I can only imagine like how she felt actually being alert, witnessing it and stuff. Cause for me, like I was so drugged up, 
like off of, you know, the sedatives and stuff like that that they gave me, but it was still like pretty scary, you know, like it was really scary because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know why, like, I couldn't move, why I felt like, you know, what was, it was, it, I don't know how to explain it. It was just the craziest thing ever. I felt so helpless. Like I'm watching my girlfriend's eyes roll to the back of her head. Like, even though I was so scared, I couldn't even panic. You know what I'm saying? Cause I knew I just had to be strong, but those were the emotions that I just felt. And it was just like, all right, I can't be emotional. I gotta just do this. You know what I'm saying? Then once the ambulance and stuff got there, um, I felt like, fuck. What's your name? Natalie. Natalie, and you know what city you're in? <laughs> and you know the month? January. Okay, January, okay, good. When did you have your wisdom teeth pulled out? Today. Today? Yeah. Any like dizziness that you're feeling? Any fever? Well, I don't feel fever, but like just now when I was standing up to try to walk to the house, cause we're just getting back to the, the dog's dentist. And, I just stood up and I felt, I just felt like so weak. dizzy and weak. Yeah, weak and dizzy. She's out times three. Okay. And then basically, I don't know, she said I passed out. She passed out like four times. Okay, do you, do you have a driver's license right now? Yeah. yeah. Really, yeah, literally walking in and she passed out. Do you know how long? Did you help her down today? Yeah, 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 but well, she kind of dropped by herself. So okay. it's like I caught her. And she just got her wisdom teeth on it? Or yeah, a couple like hours ago. A couple hours ago. Yeah. Medication. Have you ever taken that medication before? No. no. I can show you guys medication she took. It was a better, um, it was a Tylenol and a, um, something with an M. Did you fall on your head at all? Oh, she hit her head on the back of that wall, and then I caught her. Fingers, huh? We're gonna check your heart. And was she, um, when she went down to the ground, were you able to get, kind of wake her up, or was she? No, it took a, it took, it took like a at least ten seconds to wake her up. And this has never happened before. No, never. I don't know if she took the wrong medicine, because there's like four pills. So. Okay. Have you thrown up any blood? No, but just so much blood. Do you need help? Two. Okay. And everything got super real for me once I seen them rolling her out and putting her in the actual ambulance. And I just sat there looking like, what the fuck? This just happened. You okay, baby? Are you guys giving her an IV? <sighs> this is so fucking hard to document, but she wants to make sure we document every single thing that happens. All right, moving. girlfriend just came in out ready to see. Okay, so you're just gonna have to wait until she gets to bed and then we'll let you know and ask the nurse if you're about to get to stop. But you're gonna have to wait like maybe 45 minutes to an hour. She's right there. Yeah, unfortunately no one could be there um, until she gets to bed. Once she oh. gets to bed, we'll ask the nurse and then see if you're allowed to stay with her. Oh, but I'll roll with her. Maybe, like, I don't want to leave her. Yeah, unfortunately you can't be in the back right there. That's like I'm outside of the hospital right now. Yeah, we all are now. Like, yeah, we're all outside of the hospital right now. Hi, honey. I'm here. I'm here, baby. Thanks, Mom. How you feeling, sweetheart? I feel so much better. Oh, thank goodness. Listen, I know you didn't want me to leave, Nat, but we could have done it an easier way. I know, right? Oh, I love you. I hear you like that. That's okay. I'm just glad. I'm just glad you're feeling better and looking at your face. I've been in the hospital for about like two hours probably and everybody's here now. My mom was supposed to be on her flight and she rushed over here to be with me and like missed her flight. My brother's here and Easy's outside, my sister's here. Everyone's outside waiting though, they won't let anyone in except for my mom. I'm just happy to be okay, I'm happy to be healthy and... I told Easy apparently after you passed out for the hundredth time to go grab the camera. Yeah, but you know, I get this on. 
You gotta get this content. Look who just came out the emergency. I made it. I made, made it out. I'm with my girlfriend. Give me a kiss, babes. You did so good, babe. Thank you so much. Of course, man. We'll talk about it when we get home. I'm just glad you're safe. How you feeling, my love? Nigga, we made it. Hey. Put a wig out, baby, because you look different than when you went in. <laughs> Nigga, we made it. They don't know what that is. You gotta pull her out. Nigga, we made it. Oh man, guys. I felt so blessed. I'm alive. I'm here. I'm home. I need to eat. My baby, come here. You saved her. Easy. You saved my life. I did. You saved our baby. Now, my baby. Mom literally hopped off the plane. Hopped off the plane. Mm -hmm. Sprinted. Full speed <laughs> in the airport. About to yeah. board the flight. About to hop on. She got them all over. Oh my God, what is all this, my love? This is like, they're hooking me up to machines. For the monitors. Ow, to make sure I was okay. I'm a hot mess, guys. Just I guess in the we will definitely talk in the morning. I gotta, I just feel a little hungry. Mm -hmm. And like, um, weak and like, sleepy. Mm -hmm. But I think those are all natural feelings. And I walked out of the hospital by myself. They didn't give me a wheelchair. They didn't even give her a wheelchair. But we'll talk to you on the morning. <sighs> Super traumatizing to see and you know, and it was even, it was just scary because I was all alone and I, I knew that I was all that she had. So I couldn't, you know, panic. Break out too much, no? Yeah. Like, I felt like that is one thing that, you know, I kept telling her like even the day of, I was like, like after I got better, I was just like, oh, you were so strong for me because like, I didn't know it affected her as much as it did until my brother told me when she was telling my family about it, she was like, she broke down telling them, you know? Yeah, I'm just gonna cry. But I kept telling her the whole time, I was like, you're my superhero, you saved me. Oh, she just, she did. You didn't panic, you didn't just like, you know, mm -hmm. you called the ambulance, which is always good if you, ever don't know what to do definitely call you know this just makes me think too like that we should definitely get trained in cpr mm -hmm. because you just never know when you'll need it it was a crazy situation i'm just so it really just makes me feel so grateful like i'm just grateful that i'm alive i'm grateful that it wasn't anything too serious and it was all because of it was a mix, but the, what the ER doctor said is that it was a mix between the fact that like I didn't really eat much that day, and then I had my surgery, lost some blood, mm -hmm. um, and then I was on those like medication. I took like a quite a bit of medication, the suggested amount, but on an empty stomach, and then I was in the car for like three hours because I live far from like the dentist, and then my mom had to drive me here, then we had to drive to the airport, then back here. So they said being in the car for that long like the blood wasn't circulating properly in my body so when i stood up it all rushed down to my legs which is why i kept passing out yeah that makes so much sense i wish i knew everything to do i wish i wouldn't try to pick you up or have you stand up like you know i just felt bad because it was like damn maybe if i didn't have her stand up she would have just made it to the house and just knocked out and went to sleep. You know what I'm saying? But I just was like, I don't know though, baby, because I was literally starting to pass out at the car by myself. Like as soon as I stood up, I don't really think it was anything that, you know, you did wrong. It was just that like I needed some time. I just couldn't be weak in that moment. There was not one ounce of weakness in that moment. I just wanted to be his superhero and just make sure you were good. And then I just realized like, fuck. That was traumatizing. <sighs> he made it in his gang. Nat Nat made it. Oh, um, God. <laughs> I'm just so happy she's here. Because then it could have ended a totally different way. Yeah. And thankfully, like, I didn't hit my head too hard and stuff. Like, I did hit my head on the wall. But, like, yeah. But we do have to talk about the one she was conscious. The first thing she says is, go get the camera. <laughs> I did. Why I are you did. worried? That's the big question. Why did you want me to grab the camera? I 
I'm usually that person, you know what I'm saying? But in that moment, I didn't give a fuck about a camera. I didn't care about nothing but her. You know because what I'm I feel like by the time I was, so the ambulance were already on their way when yeah. I said it. Mm -hmm. And by the time I was like, the ambulance were on their way and they had already instructed her to like lay me down on my side and like stuff. Once I laid down like that, I felt so much better that I was like, I'm going to be okay. Like, I didn't know what was happening, but I didn't feel like I was dying at that point. Oh, God. Even though it did cross my mind when I was in the ambulance, I was like, oh my God, I hope I don't die. Like, I'm not ready to die. They did not but, want me to ride back there with you either. I was annoyed. And I almost did, but I had forgot a charger. But yeah, I just in my head, I was just like, well, I mean, it's happening anyway, so might as well record it. But I didn't think I was like in harm's way when I said that, you know? Because yeah. that's not like the first thing that would come on in my mind if I felt yeah. like I was, you know. Die. Really, yeah, really about to die. die. I felt so much better. Do it for that, do it for that vlog. Please, record me. <laughs> no, but, and I, you know, it was just like, whatever, we might as well. So the music, yeah, I don't, It's everything. just like such a part of our lives yeah. that it just, it just came kind of like naturally. <laughs> it just sounds so crazy. <laughs> just came naturally to be like, we got to document this. It's yeah. almost like journaling, yeah. you know? For the Neezy gang. You journaling for y'all. Yeah, I gotta know what's happening. So <laughs> y'all knew right, y'all, yeah. Y'all had to know what was happening like right in the moment. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm so glad my baby's okay. Um, and we go through real life situations and we just be here living y'all. Just trying to, trying to live, that's it. Yeah. Neezy gang, we